Hi, it's Simon here, and we're back playing some Stalker. It's 1 a.m. in the morning, and which is the exactly the correct time to be playing Stalker, as it will absolutely scare the crap out of you if you let it. So I'm just going to look at my PDA and try and remember what we were doing when we left off. So here are the two of the crash sites that we know of. This one's quite near us, so we'll go check this one out. And just exit. It's back near this strange anomaly over here, although we want to avoid that because if we remember there were dogs down there. There we go, there are those dogs that were prowling about. There's some more hideous mutants here. Oh, I've upset them. I like that the animals act like animals. You know, if, if, if one of them gets shot and died, the other might decide just to run away. So I can see the crashed helicopter, but I know Stalker too well to uh, approach it too quickly. I'll probably go into a crouch and just have a look around. So that looks like there's an anomaly near it. Which may be dangerous to me if I'm not careful. I suspect it's uh, some sort of trap. Oh. <laughs> so I think it's some sort of poltergeist that can pick things up. So we're going to have to carefully avoid letting it throw things at me. Of my ammunition as well because I have to make it back. I could try and get closer and throw grenades at it. It. I think I got it. So let's search the bodies for useful things. Med kits will come in useful. Don't know if I can get things from those crates.
Looks like the crew died in midair and the helicopter simply crashed because there was nobody there to fly it. The onboard computer was a little luckier. I wonder if there's anything useful here. Ah, there's something. A map of the area with certain locations marked. That should come in handy. So one of the reasons um, that I spent so long playing this game is it's absolutely massive. Uh, the game world is um, split into three or four different places. So you start in this area, then you move to another, and then you uh, move to Pripyat. But each of these environments is a, a few miles wide, and there's so much packed into them. So I've got uh, a bit of radiation poisoning, so I think I might uh, use my radiation medicine. And I'm also carrying too much. What I might do is I might go into my inventory and just see if I could eat some food or something. So I'm carrying 59 kilograms, uh, but I can only carry 50. So. The most useless things I own are these sawn off shotguns. Gosh, the uh, idle animation actually scared me then. Um, or perhaps one of these pistols that's in, in poor shape. Although they don't weigh that much, whereas these sawn off shotguns weigh quite a bit. So I'll drop these because they're in such a bad shape. I can't really sell them either. When you drop things in the world, uh, sometimes they they'll stay there for a while, so you can actually come back if you remember. Oh, <laughs> I, I never like going into a building and then seeing a set of stairs that go down. This was worth checking underneath, underneath stuff for stashes. One of the things I like about this level design and, and the, these buildings is while so, quite a lot of them are kind of maybe not as, oh wait, I'm, I've walked into a, a dangerous anomaly here. Oh no. That was not good. <laughs> and I've become irradiated again. I'm going to use my med kit. through here. I don't think I can. I don't know if I'm able to get into these buildings. There is a radiation hazard that I should probably stay away from there. So I need to drop more stuff. Just three kilos worth.
drop a useless pistol. And we'll just zoom out. And we want to get back to our safe. safe target and hopefully get some radiation medicine what's going on down there that doesn't <laughs> so those are the snorks scary humanoid mutants just look like people with uh, gas masks sewn onto their faces. So I would definitely give that a wide berth. But as I was saying about earlier about the places and their kind of individual looks, um, a lot of games kind of fall down on that open world games. Far Cry 3 and 4 were pretty bad in that regard as apart from maybe one or two environments uh, nothing was particularly memorable and certainly no none of them felt like they had a place on the map. Uh, you couldn't remember where a place was com compared to like another place which was not only kind of frustrating and annoying, it meant that journeys between things were less interesting and fast travel was kind of more of the option that you'd use because there was no reason not to use it. For all the complaints about fast travel, Stalker does have fast travel. But what you have to do is you have to find another Stalker and ask them to take you and pay them to take you to a place and you'll end up at that place. It's not instant um, and it costs you money. But that's a kind of really good alternative just having the usual thing. So I think there's some bandits hold up in there. And that's their base. Oh, I've got some dogs. Oh, there's a firefight going down. I might just, uh, I think I can crouch lower and hide. see what we can get from these guys. It doesn't really match if I become over encumbered again again because I'm right near the base. Oh well I won't be taking his stuff as he is not actually dead yet. I could wait till the bandits take him out. Stop. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm hoping if I get closer to this, other stalkers might join in and help. So I think it's some time I uh, bought some medicine, sold the stuff I was accumulating, and found someone to talk to about the map that I found in the, sh in the uh, helicopter crash. Listen up. Sultan wants to see Hello. You. What brings you? Okay, this guy doesn't have any radiation medicine. I can also drink vodka as a temporary anti-radiation well medicine. Oh, I guess I can't get that from him either. But I can sell him things. Don't let the door hit you. Howdy. Here's to a steady hand. I'm not quite sure what giving this guy booze actually does. I think it does make him more friendly to you. Uh, so this guy does need some new tools now. I wonder if repairing these would make it worthwhile. 700 to repair it. Well, I can sell it for more than 700, I think, so... Hopefully I'll be able to make my money back on these. We shall see. I'm going to sell all my pistols because I have this one. Although I might take what? Take this pistol. I guess it looks kind of like a Beretta. And sell this one. Okay, I'm starting to make some money, uh, but I think the real money that could be made by selling the artifacts that I've dug up. No, not no. So I think this guy is the doctor, <laughs> I assume. I wonder if I can buy a. There we go. We can buy some anti-radiation drugs. We could potentially sell him some of the uh, medkits that we don't need. I actually have nine grenades, I haven't used any yet. 
Hey, stalker. How are you? Ah, so this guy can take me into the next area. But now that I can give him a map. Oh, there we go. So I can... I can move into the next area of the game. Well, good luck to you. That said, I don't need to do that yet, as there's still plenty I can do in this area. Listen up. Sultan wants to see you. I think that's the, uh... If you need something, the boss is over there. So, you managed to drag your ass over here? Bravo! Hmm. I don't think uh, getting on the... See you! On the side of the bartender, who would be a good idea. Any artifacts, and we'll see what we can do. I think I'll come find a bed and have a sleep. I think also I should go get my armor fixed up. Oh, and I can also get it upgraded. It's questionable whether I want to do that on, on my current armor though, as it as I progress through the game I want to buy different suits. So upgrading the one that you're with uh, may be kind of slightly a waste. Indeed, even repairing it's kind of a waste, but I guess that's probably worthwhile. And I'll go buy a scope, so next time I want to shoot in a weird mutant from afar, I'll be able to do it. What are you? A statue? If you got something, spill the beans. If not, take a hike. Oh, I have to move it here. And we should be able to apply that to that. And so we now have our rifle. Well, I can't pull my That's rifle out. Because right. I'll get into trouble. There we go. have enough weight to pick some things up along the way. One of the missions mentioned was Beard told me that there was something strange going on in this dredging place, so what I'll do is I'll I think I'll go check that out. In a pretty intense lightning storm. Oh, and the water is radioactive. So I think we'll have to go around it. And I've picked up a bit of radiation again.
just do a quick save here. I found the strange phenomenon. Oh. <laughs> Don't, I'm in trouble. Just you keep walking. You'll remember this moment, that's for sure. Okay, that guy's not subtle. I pretty sure I'm gonna be ambushed. <laughs> oh, I don't want to have to go back in there. It's radioactive in here. to that then. <laughs> Encumbered. By three. I guess I'll have to throw away one of these.
hope they're not coming for me. Oh, they are. The game really has no... Uh, <laughs> it really doesn't care if you're injured or coming back from a mission. But I think that's kind of one of the things that keep uh, a game world feeling alive. It's the consistency. I actually like knowing things are happening while I'm not there. The Far Cry games... The Far Cry games will do things like this, but uh, most of it's generated a few hundred meters away from the player and then ceases to exist. Hello! What brings you... Great. Oh, and I can uh, tell the bandit. Tell them about the bandit attack. Hmm. I don't really want to get involved on this. Let's see what else I can trade though. He will actually buy my uh, artifact. So that's some good money. And I might see if I can go get my rifle upgraded again. I might pop into the doctor while I'm here. Uh, what? Oh, there's no upgrades that I can get on this. <laughs> the technician needs vodka, so I actually have to... Go give him that vodka then. Let's sell all the other rubbish I'm carrying. So, you got anything new? So I think I'm going to get the rest of my guns fixed up and sell them as well. Hopefully I can sell that for 600. Oh, small profit at least. So in this box I can place things and they will remain there. So for instance I'm carrying two of these and a handgun that I'm not using. Maybe extra ammunition. For instance I'm not going to be using these shotgun shells. old type detectors. 
So now I've got a significantly more stuff that I can carry now. Maybe sell that later, or maybe use one of the submachine guns. Again, I need to uh, see the doctor. If I can remember where he was. No, not. And I believe that's free, so. I could sell him perhaps some of my bandages. Since I pick so many up from <laughs> shooting stalkers. I guess I can just take those. Goodbye. So even when the sun's out, the uh, game still feels massively oppressive. The birds are a nice touch. So let's uh, look on my PDF. That was the dredge station that I just went to. There is a stash here that I can go collect. So let's go find that. I may be able to find perhaps an interesting weapon or something. Save myself buying one. It's under the pipeline. Stalkers over there could have helped me. <laughs> Maybe I'm just gonna hang out with them. Quit growing around. Oh. Holster your weapon. wasn't the best time to get into a conversation. My friends over here. Come on, man, put that weapon away. Uh oh, I 
I think my new friends may have been killed. <laughs> Ooh. That is a uh, SA-80. Which is the combat rifle of the British Army. And I've shot one of those. I don't know where this stash is, though. It's exactly here. Well, I'm guessing <laughs> that it may be along the pipe. I don't like that sound. If I'm quick, I can. Guess up here, maybe? No, that doesn't look like it's happening. <laughs> look on my PDA. There is a stash. Look at my message log. I'm guessing it could be underneath it. I don't like this. <laughs> oh. Ooh, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I've made a terrible miscalculation. <laughs> I think I will save the game and see you guys later in the next episode when I figure out where I am and what I'm doing. <laughs> Good night.